Hey everyone, this is Jackie Cooper with Jay Cooper Travels Talk Show, and I have a really exciting guest that I'm going to be talking to in just a quick second. But for those that are not familiar with Jay Cooper Travels, I just want to share that um, I'm both on um, uh, it's a talk show on podcast on eight different um, channels, and then also I do have the video, which is also on my YouTube. And I'm also on a variety of other social media. So definitely like and subscribe and check out all the various episodes. Um, my personal background, just in case you're, if you're not sure of, um, you know, how I came into the J. Cooper Travels area. Uh, my background is that I'm an attorney, but I am also a teacher and I love to travel around the world. So J. Cooper Travel started because of my getting into the travel space. But then COVID hit. And so um, J. Cooper Travels ended up being more about people's personal journeys and how they travel in life, both uh, through their career and um, in other areas that they're passionate about. And that leads us to areas that we're going to be talking about today, because uh, Karina and I are both passionate about helping charities and becoming uh, volunteers and supporting those that are doing good for others. Um, my passion area is the environment and children, uh, but today Karina and I are going to be talking about a walk that's coming up and we would like you to support um, the organization and the charity because of everything that they're doing as well. How are you doing today, Karina? I'm doing great. Thanks. Thank you so much for being on. So for those that don't know um, who you are or where you're located, why don't you give a little bit of background because you've had a... Uh, a phenomenal personal journey yourself. And um, I, I'm really, um, I admire everything that you've done and are doing. So why don't you share a little bit more so people can learn about who you are and then why you're supporting the organization we're gonna be talking about. Okay, uh, my name is Dr. Karina Wu. I am a physical therapist, born in Los Angeles and went to physical therapy school in New York City. I have 21 years of experience and I am the owner of Active Care Physical Therapy in New York City and Mumbai. So our clinic specializes in manual therapies, Pilates-based rehabilitation, sports and functional training. We have expanded to have a wellness side of the business, which includes Pilates, personal training, massage and acupuncture. And we promote a lot of things that are very holistic in nature, and that can benefit, especially as an adjunct to physical therapy. So one of the biggest things is when I became a physical therapist, uh, one of the driving forces was the fact that my father has a below knee amputation and I used to volunteer with the disabled sports groups. So I would always be really interested in helping out with that on your own free time and then doing whatever other job. So I was approached by the Arthritis Foundation back in 2012. And the way that they started it was they made it a physical therapy practice challenge. So they inspired us to pit against each other, different businesses. And my practice managed to win or generate the highest amount of funds. And so we won a booth at the New York City Walk to Cure Arthritis. So that was the way that my team originally got into the space. And it's something that's very near and dear to my heart because we treat so many people with arthritis. And then I got diagnosed with arthritis at the age of 35. Wow. So, yeah, so I basically took a picture of my neck with a chiropractor, he did an X-ray and it looks like a 70 year old neck. And I was like, oh, okay. That is from a history of a whiplash from a car accident in college. And then subsequently getting very bad PT, physical therapy at that time, not being told the importance of stretching and strengthening in that region. I would work out because it was good for you and healthy, but I didn't do specific stuff for that area. And now I have a very stiff neck that bothers me when I travel or I have increased stress. Wow. So that's that's a really long journey into like getting into the physical therapy space and then working with a foundation that is something that, you know, as physical therapists, we treat and it, you know, it's personal. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, when you think of arthritis, you think of someone who's older, you don't think of someone who's young, 
who um, you know might be um, identified with it. So this is extremely important that everyone um, one be aware of what's going on within your own body, and then also get the proper counseling to help you, um, like you said, um, and and then also to support. So tell talk to us a little bit more about how people can get involved with the Walk to Cure Arthritis because I know that. Um, it's a little different this year. So the New York City Walk to Cure Arthritis is virtual this year. It is Sunday, May 16th. And yes, you would be participating virtually. You could technically be out for a walk and link in over video, although we don't want anyone to trip and fall <laughs> in their walk. <laughs> but you could do it from the safety of your home, or you could just make a donation, which is one of the, you know, no matter how small, it's so important to raise funds to a foundation that is helping to try to cure this very chronic disease. Arthritis actually is a global term that literally means inflammation and a joint. And if you go to the website, there are many other conditions listed under arthritis that you might not think links to it. So it's really important because, you know, you can see something like lupus or psoriasis, juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. So there's many other headings of, unfortunately, diagnoses that you might not think are linked to it. And if you just help us with raising funds to work at a cure, it can be beneficial for many more people than just people with, say, osteoarthritis or rheumatoid arthritis. Yeah. So um, how um, you do you have a website that they can go to or how would you recommend that they actually um, connect and do the virtual walk? So if you go to arthritis.org and then look for the New York City Walk to Cure Arthritis, you can find the link there. If you go to my website, www.bestptnyc.com, you'll see information there as well about how to participate in the New York City Walk to Cure Arthritis. And for those that might not be familiar with how a podcast or um, you know a YouTube video might work, I will also have those links in the bottom below. Um, and if for some reason, again, um, you don't remember which episode this was, um, just email me at jcoopertravels at gmail.com and I'll definitely connect you over. Um, so how many people do you think might be virtually walking this year? That's a very good question. When we had the walk, they would get anywhere from 1,000 to 1,500. I'm not sure how that translates into the virtual world. I would think it should be roughly the same, but I know that there's also a lot of different events that are going on. So we're hoping that we still get the same numbers for the people that help to support us, the families that are affected. They typically pick an honoree like both a juvenile and an adult honoree of someone who's had some diagnostic condition with it. And, you know, everyone who's participating is spreading the word in their network. So hopefully a thousand, that would be great. Yeah. So I see on your site, I think I'm, I'm seeing your site that you actually have a raffle uh, this year uh, for those that are participating. How does that work? I'm sorry, I missed the question. A are, you, are, you, are you hosting a raffle this year uh, for those that are participating by going through your website? Uh, we would definitely be willing to give a free session to somebody if they were to donate a certain amount of money. So yeah, previous years we used to, I used to have a patient who worked for Creed Perfume. I used to have, uh, you know, other people donate we got a piece of jewelry from uh, Judith, what was her name? A very high-end jeweler. So we used to have raffles like that where people would actually silent auction on little things. So yeah, definitely. If they come to the website or if they call our office, they can get more information. So why don't you give your uh, contact information again? So that way those that might be listening uh, can write down your number or again, the website. So that way they can donate and um, be part of the virtual walk to cure arthritis. So the business name is Active Care Physical Therapy. We're located at 12 West 37th Street in New York City between 5th and 6th Avenue. Our phone number is 212 777 
4374, or they can email us at staff at bestptnyc.com. Awesome. So I really appreciate your being on. Everyone who's listening, I'll be promoting this out on my different, you know, different social media platforms. And this is a really important cause because it's, as uh, Dr. Wu mentioned, we don't always think about the inflammation and how it affects us. And uh, so, like you said, there are more categories that might be under arthritis that we just haven't thought about. And so a cure for this can really help others as well. So um, any last minute thoughts before we sign off? No, uh, we're just looking for people to participate. Come join us virtually. I know it's a little different and we lose that human contact, but when we can still see each other and do something for a good cause that makes it just better for everybody. I agree. Thank you so much. And I am so excited to be sharing this with my network so that way we can get more support for um, the cure. And I look forward to speaking to you again about your practice. I am a, a fan of acupuncture and all that you're doing. So I would love to have you back on to talk more about how all of those areas can help others, because I think that general well-being and just a personal care, you know, everyone needs to be thinking about that overall. So thank you so much for your time today. Thanks for having me. Have a